Hey, welcome to day three of our seven days of prayer. Today, we're gonna be praying over our city. I do believe as a believer that we should be praying for our city. When we're praying for our city, our hearts are in it, our minds are focused on it, and we just become more aware of what's happening in our communities. So today, that's exactly what we're gonna do. Let me read you a scripture out of 1 Timothy 2, 1 through 4. I urge you, first of all, to pray for all people. Ask God to help them intercede on their behalf and give thanks for them. Pray this way for kings and all who are in authority so that we can live peaceful and quiet lives, marked by godliness and dignity, who wants everyone to be saved and to understand the truth. Now, we don't have kings today, in, in America, but we do have mayors and city officials that we should be praying for and asking God to cover them. So today, that's what we're gonna do. We're gonna pray for our city officials, schools, and right now, what I want you to do is we pray, just begin to settle in, get your thoughts together, and journal if you need to, but we're gonna pray for our city. Let's start off by thanking God. Let's begin to thank Him for who he is in our life. Make it personal. Begin to thank him for what he's done for you. Let's begin thanking him for what he's done in our family members, for what he has done in our city. God, we thank you today. We thank you for being our provider. We thank you for being our protector today. Now let's begin to move our prayers a little further out. Let's begin to pray for our neighbors in our neighborhood. If you know your neighbors by name, begin to say them out loud. Begin to pray for them. Begin to pray that God would bring unity in their homes. Begin to pray that God would save them, that God would speak to them. Begin to pray for issues that you're aware of that are going on in your neighborhood. God, we just pray that you would meet the needs of our neighbors. God, that you would be there for them, that you would bring peace into their homes. Now let's take our prayers a little further out from our neighborhood and let's begin to pray for our schools. Begin to pray for those schools that you pass by every day on your way to work, as you drive around your area, your community, Begin to lift those schools up by name. Pray for the teachers, the administrators, volunteers. Begin to pray for the students. Father, we just thank you for these schools that are providing education for our children. And we pray, God, that you would bless these teachers. God, that you would give them wisdom in this season. And for the administrators and leaders that are having to make hard decisions, God, we pray for wisdom. God, we pray that you would speak to them and give them guidance. God, we pray for the students and the student body and their family members. God, as some of them are in need, they're coming back to school. God, we just pray that you would meet their needs even as they come back to school. And we thank you for all the schools in our areas. Now let's begin to pray for our citywide leaders and state representatives. Let's begin to pray for wisdom with these city officials. God, we just pray wisdom right now. God, we pray that you would speak to them. God, that you would give them a, a new measure of discernment. God, we pray for, God, our school board leaders. God, we pray right now, let's pray for your mayor. If you know your mayor by name, begin to pray for your mayor. Begin to pray that as he or she leads, that they will lead with the city's best interest in mind. They would lead from a place of wisdom. If you know any city representatives, begin to pray for them. Maybe you have friends that are working in city council, begin to pray for them by name. And let's pray that God would guide their decisions on behalf of our city. God, we pray right now that you would do this for our city leaders. God, use them for your glory. 
Now let's begin to move a little further out and pray for some business owners. Maybe there's some small businesses that are struggling in this season. Begin to uh, do a miracle, God, and bring uh, finances, God. Bring people through their doors, God, that the economy may make a comeback. God, we ask that you work in these places. Begin to pray for, for more interactions to occur and that people would be able to find his love in these spaces, that people would uh, want to go and congregate around local businesses and go shopping and spend money and, and bring these local businesses back to where they were. We need to pray for public safety over our city. This includes parks, wherever people are gathering. Let's begin to cover them in prayer. As kids go to parks, as people are around in their community, God, we just pray for safety. God, in our city, on the streets, wherever people are gathering, God, protect them. Let's pray for peace and safety in these spaces. Let's pray that people would feel welcome and that no one would feel threatened or unwelcomed in these public spaces. Now let's pray for racism to be eliminated in our city. God, we know that in your wisdom, you created all people in your image. So let's begin to pray right now for the people in our city to have open eyes to see the beauty and the worth of every person that we see, every person that we encounter. God, open up my eyes, God. Maybe your eyes need to be open to the beauty and the worth of every person that you see. God, open up our eyes. God, open up our minds to understand that we're all brothers and sisters in the same family. God, we pray right now for people's hearts to repent of racism. God, repent of certain behaviors and attitudes that we carry with us. Begin to pray for racism to be eliminated in your city. Let's pray for everyone, no matter our skin color, that we would be able to lock arms in unity to see our city express the heart of God by loving our neighbors. We thank you, God, in advance for this. Now we all know people that are in need, especially in this season. God, we pray for opportunity for people to have jobs. We pray for strategic ways for them to make money and for them to share in kindness and love and generosity. God, we pray for the people in our city that would, they would find shelter, food, God, and other basic needs would be met. Meet them right where they're at, God. You know the needs of this city. God, we pray that more jobs will become available. Even in the midst of this pandemic, God, more jobs. Now, right now, I want you to ask God to help you be brave and kind. If there are any opportunities to help those who are in need, that we would step up and meet the need. Now let's turn our prayer and our attention to our local churches. Whatever city you're in, let's begin to pray for those churches. Let's pray for our church first. Wherever you're at, whatever city, whatever church you attend, begin to pray for that church. Pray for that pastor. Father, we just pray that you would give our pastors wisdom. God, that you would speak to their hearts, that you would help them lead the communities that they are leading. Begin to give them strategic ideas of how to meet needs in the community. God, we pray for those churches that are up and down the roads that our church is located. God, we pray for those churches and those pastors and leaders. God, bless them. Increase their territory. God, increase their reach in this city. Come on right now, will you ask God to work through his people in this city, that he would do immeasurably more than we could ever ask or imagine. Now, lastly, before we end, let's all pray for a spiritual awakening in our city. 
Let's pray that Jesus will revive the church and awaken our city to his greatness. Come on, will you believe that with me? Will you pray that? Pray that God will pour out his spirit on his people. God, we just pray that there would be a spiritual awakening. God, that you would do only what you can do in this city, in our city. In your name we pray today. Amen.